So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is Sweet Boxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So, so Canelo Alvarez says that if he's going to beat Gennady Golovkin on September the 16th, he's going to have to be elusive, he's going to have to be smart, and he's going to have to use movement to defeat Gennady Golovkin on September the 16th. He says there's a high possibility that there'll be a knockout in this fight. To quote Canelo Alvarez here, he says, I have to be careful with everything when facing him because he's good all round. There's a lot of probability there'll be a knockout as we both can punch. I'm a Mexican and he's trained by a Mexican and the fans are in for a treat. There's a high probability there will be a knockout. I'm going to have to be smart and elusive to avoid his punches. He's very powerful if you stand in front of him. So, this could be a problem here if Canelo Alvarez looks to try and move all night against Gennady Golovkin because Canelo isn't the greatest mover in there anyway but the thing is right when you've got somebody like Gennady Golovkin who's very good at cutting off the ring he puts a lot of pressure on you and he has a good chin as well so the thing is if you give Gennady Golovkin space in there by moving around and you're giving him the space like to hunt you down and cut the ring off he's going to be able to get a lot of mustard on what he's throwing on you because he's going to have the distance to be able to do it he's going to get the leverage to hit you with the big shots the thing is if you go against Gennady Golovkin and you smother him and not like smother him but if you're on top of him and you're the one who's there as well like smothering his punches and stuff like that you're not allowing him to get the leverage and the power on the shots to be able to hurt you or knock you out but the thing with Gennady Golovkin is he is very powerful no matter what he throws he has very heavy hands and that could be a problem for Canelo Alvarez I expect Canelo Alvarez to get hurt in this fight doesn't mean he's going to lose or anything like that but I expect him to get hurt in this fight against Gennady Golovkin at some stage and it'll be interesting to see how Canelo Alvarez recovers from that because he could recover and he could go on and get the victory or he could just totally crumble under the relentless pressure of Gennady Golovkin because Gennady Golovkin's a fighter when he gets you hurt he's looking to finish you like he's there he's cutting the ring off he's a guy who can make the ring feel two foot small in there this is a man who is a master of cutting off the ring he puts very effective pressure on you the man's got excellent balance so when he throws the shots they're gonna hurt and he knows exactly where to pinpoint the shots as well he knows exactly where to hit you he knows where to hit you to the body he knows where to hit you to the head that's going to be the most effective and it's going to hurt you but Canelo Alvarez is very good at putting his shots together as well he's very good at putting shots together body to head throwing shots in combinations like Canelo Alvarez has really improved as a fighter since when he fought Floyd Mayweather in 2013 he was a good fighter then but in terms of boxing ability he has really improved like against Floyd Mayweather he just looked like a deer in the headlights when he was trying to box him but since that fight he's looked very good technically um, Canelo Alvarez don't get me wrong there's still flaws in his game there's flaws in Gennady Golovkin's game like Gennady Golovkin's defence isn't the best he can be caught um, Gennady Golovkin don't get me wrong Gennady Golovkin's defence ain't terrible at all but he can be caught in fights so Canelo Alvarez if he gets his opportunities to land he's going to have to make them count against Gennady Golovkin because Gennady Golovkin has an excellent chin anyway so every shot Canelo Alvarez throws against Gennady Golovkin when he gets the chance he's going to have to put a lot of mustard on it so yeah this is just my opinion on this comment below your opinion um, do you think this is a smart move by Canelo Alvarez or is he just saying this and he'll go in the fight and do something totally different? Would he just go in there and stand in trade with Gennady Golovkin? Could we have an all-out war on September the 16th? I'm looking forward to the fight. I'm expecting a very, very high-level fight against these two fighters. And I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so comment below in the comment section. It's JM.